RRC, Bay Bridge Repeater System. The purpose of this net is to allow cadet units and youth operators the ability to interact, discuss, use amateur topics, and other items of general amateur interest. When checking into this net, please state your call phonetically, your name, and your associated cadet unit if applicable. Is there any priority traffic for the net at this time? If so, please make your call now. Nothing heard. Uh, next, I will take calls from any cadet units, cadets or associated cadet staff, or youth operators. Go ahead. Are there any other amateur radio operators wishing to check into this net tonight? Victor Echo 3, Papa, Charlie, Papa. My name is Rob and I am in Tiverton, Ontario. Back to you. VE3 TCP. This is um, VA3 uh, TKY. Uh, I do remember talking to you the one time. I heard it was on HF, if I remember correctly. Um, so, how are you doing? Over. I'm doing very well, and uh, yes, uh, we did have a uh, uh, at least one uh, contact on 80 meters, I believe, and uh, uh, I'm not sure how long I need to wait before uh, enabling the transmit. Uh, I know Echolink has a big delay in it. I'm not sure, uh, like the Echolink repeaters have a big delay, and I'm not sure about the link. So, uh, if I uh, uh, cut somebody off or if I'm Talking too soon, uh, just let me know. Let me know. Uh, back to net control. V3 PCP. V3 PCP. Um, this is VA3 GKY. Um, the reason and I am um, interested in listening to some of the broadcasts uh, you have. The, the remote operations. Could you tell me some more about those? Over. Uh, yes, certainly. Uh, so we have a uh, we actually have two remote stations here. I have a an HF remote station that covers from uh, 10 meters through 80 meters, and then I have a a dual band uh, VHF UHF uh, remote station that uh, uh, you know connects to local repeaters. So the HF remote station uh, is uh, both of the stations actually use a software called Remote Hams. And it allows uh, people to connect over the internet uh, to my station and uh, operate it. And uh, uh, b according to the uh, to the guidelines here in Canada, you need to have advanced qualifications to operate it on your own. But as long as I am in the station as a control operator, I can have uh, anyone uh, uh, come in and, and operate with me. The, you don't even have to uh, have a an amateur certificate to do so. We do have a group of uh, young ladies and uh, young gentlemen from uh, many different countries that uh, we have a group uh, that uh, do come on to the remote uh, from time to time, sometimes uh, you know one or two or three at a time and sometimes more. So uh, actually tomorrow uh, we will be having uh, Raisa, uh, Victor Ocean 1, Bravo India Gulf, and Eva, Hotel Bravo 9, Fox Papa Mike. Uh, Eva is from Switzerland and Raisa is uh, in uh, St. Petersburg, Russia. She also operates uh, from a uh, station that they have in uh, Finland to, uh, as well with her Finnish call sign Oscar Hotel 7 Bravo Golf. So it's a lot of fun and uh, the, uh, the, op the guest operators enjoy themselves and uh, while we're doing that we live stream to YouTube uh, uh, f to my YouTube channel and just search uh, VE3PCP on YouTube and uh, the reason we live stream is so that people can follow along and see what uh, frequency we're working on and also it uh, helps uh, people that we contact to come back after the fact and uh, uh, listen to how they sounded over the year. Uh, VE3GKY, uh, VE3PCP. to VA, or VE3 PCP. Um, that really sounds interesting. And I'd like to take part, part in that if I could. Um, I'm going to take a minute now and check our net to see if there's anybody else. Over.
Are there any other stations waiting to check in? Over. This is Victor Alpha 3, Bravo Hotel Tango. Victor Alpha, Victor Alpha 3, Bravo Hotel Tango. Um, thank you for checking in tonight. Um, good to see you, Adam. Um, so, how, what, what have you been uh, doing recently on the radios and all that? Over. This is VA3, BHT. I just switched over to my computer here. Uh, I've been trying to get some HF contacts here and there, um, although it hasn't gone so well today. Uh, I guess propagation's not doing so good. Um, I was trying to get some of the ISS passes recently. I got the one yesterday, which was pretty good, although I missed a really good one today, which was a, which I was a little sad about, but that's all right. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'm just trying to make some contacts here and there when I can. Um, and I try to spend like an hour a day operating, something like that, at least. Yeah, back to net control. This is VA3 BHT, back to net control. VA3 BHT, um, that sounds good. Did you enjoy uh, going over to the science center and meeting the lovely people that were there to show us what they learned? This is VA3 BHT. Uh, yeah, the Science Center trip was really interesting. Um, it was really fun to operate such a nice radio. Um, yeah, and 200 watts output was pretty good, and I'm sure they got a really nice antenna. So definitely, yeah, really good setup they have there. Um, and yeah, I'm looking into volunteering, although um, I was trying to set up a resume earlier, but they need a resume, um, and I don't have a resume just yet, so just trying to set that up right now. Um, but yeah, it was really good. Uh, did you enjoy it? Were you there? Over to you. Um, yes, I was there, and like I had a wonderful time there. I mean, my friends, you got to touch the handball, and our one friend, uh, their hair went straight up. We all had like a lovely time there, um, and I hope you did too. Uh, back to you, VA3 BHT. This is VA3 BHT. Uh, yeah, it was it was pretty good. I didn't do as much exploring as I probably should have. Um, yeah, no, yeah, it was really interesting, and then it was just a really. It was kind of strange to see people in person, um, just because I did the course last year, and it was all online, and I'm in Toronto, so I didn't see anyone in person, so it was kind of, it was a little strange, but also, it was, it was good. So, this is VA3, BHT, back to net control. Thanks, Adam. I'm going to ask for any additional check-ins at this time. Okay. BECP, are you still in the net? Over. Yes, I am still here. And uh, 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 good evening to Adam, I think it was. Uh, my name is Rob Roger Oscar Baker, and I'm in Tiverton, Ontario, which is on the shore of Lake Huron, just north of the town of Kincardine. Uh, I put my microphone down here near my mouth. Uh, yeah, so uh, we're right near the Bruce Power uh, uh, Nuclear Generating Station. And uh, we were talking about uh, our remote uh, HF station here and the operations that we do and so forth. Uh, I'm actually recording uh, our session right now and I'll post it to YouTube uh, later once I get to time to edit it. I've got a few uh, f few other videos that need to be edited first but uh, anyway um, so I'm, I'm all set up here to be able to uh, to uh, record and or live stream uh, to our YouTube channel when we are on the air on our HF station. So tomorrow we have uh, two uh, uh, young ladies, one from Russia and one from Switzerland, uh, operating through my remote station. Uh, so we'll be on for about an hour and we're going to try to see if we can get a contact with the Sable Island de-expedition. I've, uh, I've got uh, three contacts with them so far on my own on uh, 15 meters, 17 meters, and 40 meter uh, CW. Um, 
but we're hoping to uh, to be able to work them on on uh, voice tomorrow. So that's kind of uh, what we got in the in the works for the weekend. I also uh, I tested uh, 15 candidates uh, last weekend uh, near uh, Milverton, Ontario, which is about an hour and a half drive from where I am inland towards Toronto. And uh, <clears throat> 14 out of the 15 uh, passed their basic uh, exam. So I'm going to forward information on to them about uh, this net. And the, most of them are, are young. I think the youngest person is uh, 13. And there are some older people as well. But I'm going to forward the information on to them about this net because uh, Echolink is, of course, very easy to get on to because you don't need uh, to buy any equipment. You just need a computer with a, uh, a microphone or, or a... Uh, or a smartphone so it'll give them an opportunity to get on the air and get some practice as well. So I'm back to uh, neck control uh, VA3 uh, GKY VE3 PCP and and, uh, and the group. Okay so VH3CHT would you like to try me now? Over. This is VA3 VHT. I would love to. Um, yeah it sounds like you got a real setup and uh, yeah definitely direct them. Um, yeah, there's, <laughs> I've found that they're, like, even though numbers in the hobby are growing every year, by li little by little, um, we definitely do need more active use, for sure. Um, yeah, it, it's a great hobby. Um, I would recommend it to anyone, honestly. But, uh, sorry, I'm getting off track here. Um, yeah, no, yeah, it sounds like you got a great IHF station, and it's really awesome getting, like, um, uh, some of uh, the expedition contacts I would think you were saying. Sounds really awesome. I haven't been able to do anything like that just yet. Um, yeah, and I'm currently in the Morse code course, the CW course, um, and it's really interesting. It's a little, I would say it's a little easier than I would have thought, um, it's still not easy, like it's going to take time learning a new language, uh, but uh, it's a little easier than I thought. I was expecting it to be like um, completely foreign, I guess the word would be, um, but it's not quite as bad. Uh, yeah, I was a little, um, I was a little, just a little sad getting on the net here tonight because I'm able to receive one of the repeaters linked up. It's just coming in so quietly. I can't, I can't make out anything. It's coming in as noise, and then it just goes away after the transmission's done. Um, although I think I can get received fairly well. I was testing it earlier. Um, yeah, sounds like you got real. You're doing some awesome stuff down there. This is VA3 BHT back to net control. Um, that sounds really cool, what you're doing. Um, here, actually, we have one of our cadets that are on a CW course as well. Um, and they're learning the CW as well. Um, most of us are also getting ready to start taking the final exam on the actual license, license for the basic amateur radio. And uh, but I bet a lot of us are getting pretty nervous on that. Uh, over. This is VA three BHC. Um, I would say sorry, my ring is on there. I just got a message. Uh, I would say um, for the exam, don't be too worried. Um, I personally found it fairly easy as long as you're studying and you're going through the material. Um, yeah, everybody has their own way of studying. My personal route was, um, <laughs> uh, I'll be honest, I wasn't very, I wasn't very good at studying at first, um, but my personal route is I went through the book, I reviewed things I had trouble on, and I did many, 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 many practice exams. I think I went through, honestly, like 30 to 40, maybe more in total. I just kept burning through them. Uh, not even necessarily finishing them, just figuring out different answers. Um, and a surprising amount, in my opinion, if you do a lot of practice exams, a surprising amount of those questions will be on the exam. 
Um, so my recommendation really is just don't worry about it. Um, as long as you're doing everything well and you're studying um, and you're getting the information really. Like if you have all the information and you don't need to study, then don't stress yourself out. But um, yeah, if you're just doing everything well, then you really have nothing to worry about. And I'm assuming you are probably doing everything pretty well. This is BA3, BHT, back to net control. Uh, thanks, Adam. I'm now going to fill this over to Rob, uh, BA3TCP, um, if he has anything to say. Okay, very good. Well, you caught me with my mouthful. Hi, hi. Anyway, um, I did extend the invitation to uh, Matthew, uh, your your commander there, to uh, to get a computer set up with uh, remote hams on it, and uh, you know we can certainly accommodate uh, having you uh, uh, any any number of uh, of cadets in on on the remote. Uh, uh, it's not really a problem. We can just uh, schedule it, and uh, pretty much any weekend is okay. There's always lots of uh, different activity on the bands, and uh, uh, my remote station covers 10 meters through 80 meters, and it does it does pretty well. And I do have an amplifier for uh, for some of those bands. And uh, what else am I going to say? Um, uh, the uh, my remote is also set up to do CW. I can do uh, CW uh, via a keyboard. Um, and there's also macros on the uh, on the interface that uh, you can set up where you just push a button. So, for example, when I was working uh, Sable Island, uh, uh, there was two buttons I pushed. One was my call sign, so I pushed it, and uh, it would send out my call sign. And then uh, once they I uh, heard him come back to me, then I would give him the signal report. So the the other button is set up with uh, with R R. Uh, 599 and t, uh, to you for thank you. So basically two buttons I had to push to make the contact so it makes things a lot easier than uh, uh, than having to use a, a key or a paddle. Um, when I first got my uh, certificate in the 1980s you had to uh, to get your basic uh, certificate you had to uh, you had to be able to send and receive 10 words per minute and that only allowed you uh, for the first year that you were operating, you, you had to use CW only on HF, and you could use voice on VHF or above 30 megahertz, but uh, on below 30 megahertz, you had to use CW. Then after six months, you could take your logbook in and uh, prove that you had operated CW for those six months, and then you could get a, a 10 meter endorsement, so you could operate uh, phone on, on 10 meters. And then after a year, um, Took the logbook back in again, and uh, write the uh, the advanced exam, and qualify for 15 words a minute send and receive. So, and we had no practice tests online. In fact, the internet wasn't even uh, really a thing back in the 80s. So there was no practice of tests online. Everything you you just had to uh, you know study on your own, or if you were fortunate enough to belong to a group that did the courses or whatever. But uh, I, I was fortunate enough I had uh, taken four years of electronics in high school so I had a pretty good idea and my father was a ham and my brother was a ham so you know I, I was kind of set up for success in that way but uh, anyway it's uh, it, it's just have fun with it and uh, what I find uh, in, t in testing uh, youth is that uh, sometimes they uh, are not just youth but uh, many of them they sometimes get uh, uh, get uh, questioning the, their first uh, response and sometimes your first response is going to be the best. Back to you, V3 PCP. Uh, thank you, Rob. I'm going to ask if there are any like joiners in the net at this moment. They are called sign now phonetically. Over. Nothing heard. Uh, thank you for the story. Those are great. Uh, this is my first time operating as net controller, so thank you for your patience. I'm going to ask if there is there any check, uh, late check-ins one more time. Um, so it, please say your call sign now. Over. VA three GLP calling for uh, net control. VA three GLQ, um, welcome to the net. It's good to hear you. Um, 
Do you have anything that you would wish to say? Over. Uh, this is the search of you. Uh, may we repeat? I cannot get you very well. Um, thank you for checking in, Stephen. Um, we are having a difficult uh, time hearing you tonight. So Paul is uh, Mullen Niagara. Back to you. Over. Um, this is the search of you. Uh, well, uh, I need you uh, first. Congrats, uh, congrats so, uh, on your first time opening a net, and uh, also, also, uh, I, I'm having a hard time uh, receiving your message. There is, it seems there are echoes or similar things. Thank you for the checking, Stephen. Uh, thank you for the great evening. It was a pleasure to speak with to everyone tonight. We had three check-ins. Tonight, the night is now closed at 1928 Zulu, and the repeater is turned back to regular amateur use. 73, this is BA3 GKY clear.